What's up, credit repair experts? Actually, I think I'm gonna start calling you guys credit experts because we're not repairing credit, right? We're just restoring it to what it used to be so that you can get it better. So, I don't know. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, but anyways, in today's video, we're gonna be covering what I covered in the last video, which is validating debt and why you'd wanna do that. And the reason that we did that is because you can't see it now. I wish I would have kept it instead of throwing it away, but uh, I cut off my head. Seriously, it was like cut off right here. It was uh, something else. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna be talking about that content from the previous video, but because I have to re-record it and many of you may re-watch this, I'm gonna be adding in a little bit of information that was actually not covered in the last video. So uh, yeah. Go ahead and sit down because we're going to be talking about validation letters, why they're important, and why it can be a very effective method at restoring your credit for this specific type of process. Okay, so the validation letters, what are they exactly? Well, whenever you send a debt validation letter to one of the credit bureaus or the creditors, what you're doing is you're asking them, hey, please validate that the information that's on this report is true, accurate, it's correct, and it was reported in a timely manner. So it has to meet all of those criteria in order for the debt to actually be considered valid and on your report. So once they go through the process of making sure that the debt is actually valid, then they will respond to you and they will typically tell you, hey, we looked into this debt and we have indeed seen that it is actually a valid debt, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave it on your report. Uh, if they couldn't validate the debt, then hey, congratulations, they removed it from your report, you're done. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and assume that that's not the case, that they validated the debt and it's still on your report. Don't lose heart. This is actually a good thing. My team and I, this is actually what we do all the time. We send out the debt validation letter because once they validated the debt, then they are saying that they did a full reporting on this debt and that there are no problems with it. Everything's a-okay. We did our job and we have determined that this debt is indeed yours. But that's not the case. Actually, it's completely false. Uh, what happens a lot of times is this uh, paperwork, whatever you send in, it will go through a system that's called eOSCAR and it will trigger an automated response. So they're actually not even usually looking into this at all. <laughs> it literally just triggers a response that says, hey, we validated the debt, here you go. Uh, which is pretty absurd whenever you think about it. It's actually, it's actually just completely fraud. But we're gonna leave that alone and we're gonna go ahead and talk about why it's important that they do this. So, the reason that they do this is so that they can leave it on your credit report because they get paid to have these reports drawn up for people. And if everybody's reports were clean, then nobody would pay them, right? Because they wouldn't need the reporting service. So, it's in their best interest to keep these items on your report. So, what we do in response to that is we turn around and we say, okay, okay, got it. So this debt is valid by your own standards. So uh, why then do I see that uh, over here, my name is spelled Jesse P. Jones, and then over here, it's Jesse P. Dot Jones, right? So uh, how can this debt actually be valid if it's actually not even being reported the same on either of these two uh, reports, right? Experian's got one over here that has a dot in it, and TransUnion's got one over here that doesn't have a dot in it, and then, you know, Equifax has got another one that has a dot in it. <laughs> so, just so you guys know, in order for a debt to be considered valid, it has to have the exact same format, the exact same times, dates, addresses, everything has to be exactly the same. Carbon copy, right? If I were to write it down and it was over a piece of carbon paper, then that piece of carbon paper would have everything exactly the way 
that the, uh, the original piece of paper that I wrote on had, that's how it should be across all three bureaus. We know that it's not that way because if you look at all three bureaus, all three of those reports are always different, right? None of them are ever the same. And so that's how we know that the reporting is not being done correctly, right? It's not accurate and it's not being done in a timely manner because they're not even looking into it at all. So that is why the validation process is important, right? We know that they're not actually doing true and correct validations. So later on, whenever we come in and we, we show them, hey, you guys said that this debt was valid right here, but I can see over here that it's not. Now, because you told me that it was a valid debt, you now need to remove this from my credit report. And the reason that you can tell them to remove it from your credit report is actually because they validated the debt. So it's actually kind of trapping them and they now must remove it from your report, right? They can't just go in, and they can't just correct the information. If you don't validate the debt, then they can come in, they can be like, oh, hey, thanks for updating your information for us. We'll just go ahead and fix that real quick. But because you validated the debt, now you put them in this trap and they can no longer just come back and update the information. And if they do, well, then you can actually leverage your consumer rights and you can create a CFPB complaint. You can get them in lots of trouble. And if nothing else, you can file in a small claims court and you can get the items removed from your consumer report using the, the Fair Credit Reporting Act. You can use a CFPB complaint to show that you tried to get the item removed in a reasonable way. And then finally, you've had to file a small claims court because you've done everything in your power to be able to get these items removed from your report and they are just not cooperating with you. So this is kind of the process of how you would go about removing these items. Now, in order to make your case stronger, you are gonna to wanna to go ahead and write powerful and effective letters. Uh, my company, we actually do letters that are about 13 pages long. So they're not like the little like one or two page templates that you see in a lot of places. We actually do very, very long, carefully thought out letters to the credit bureaus, to the alleged creditors. Uh, and we do this because we want them to know that we're being serious and we know what we're doing, right? We're not just, you know, coming in with some frivolous, oh, I didn't do this, so remove it from my report. We're actually showing them, hey, you're actually violating my consumer rights. None of this is being reported accurately. There are so many, so many things done wrong here and so many counts of fraud and we can actually hold them accountable, right? And so that's why we want to go through this whole verification process. This is going to be the beginning of your disputing process. And depending on how you handle it, it can be one of the most effective methods on getting items removed from your credit report. So uh, yeah, don't scoff at the validation process. It's part of the process. And whenever you get that validation letter, really it just means that you're one step closer to getting this item removed from your report. So uh, if for those of you who are trying to fix your own credit right now, if you are receiving those validation letters, don't become disheartened, okay? It's just part of the process. Trust me, we get tons of them all the time and we have a 94% success rate at getting items removed from our clients' reports. So, uh, with that in mind, that's pretty much it for today. If you guys have other questions about the validation process, then go ahead and put them in the comment section below. If you guys wanna see any videos on anything specific, let me know. I uh, appreciate you guys uh, letting me know about the content that you would like to see on the channel for the future. It helps me create things and uh, it helps me to uh, push out content that I know that you guys want to see uh, and it keeps me from having to come up with all the ideas myself because uh, you know I am not sitting in your shoes so I can't you know think of all the things that you guys might be uh, you guys might be going through on a daily weekly and monthly basis so yeah if you guys have any content you would like to see again just drop it down below um, and otherwise I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here it was awesome talking to you guys. As always, it's Monday, so uh, it's the beginning of the week. You guys, 
go ahead and go out there, kick some butt, man, get some items removed from your credit reports. If you need help, get in contact with us, credit repair experts. Our Facebook is down below. You can reach out to us through Facebook Messenger. And our phone number is also in the description down below. So if you would like to actually speak with one of our experts, go ahead and reach out to us. We can schedule a time to talk to you guys and uh, we'll get that one-on-one -on -one consultation, figure out what your situation is, and then we'll see if we can help each other out. So anyways, with that, you guys have an awesome Monday. Take care. I'll see you later. Credit experts.